Hey guys, Jimmy of Vegas here, and today we are playing an indie game made in Unity called Alisa The Awakening. Um, oh, we can use them controllers. Okay, well, I'm still a massive fan. Ooh, a bit loud. Um, it's on itch.io. I will leave a link in the description below for you to have a go yourself. Uh, it says it's a classic late 90s style horror themed action adventure game set in a fantasy universe inspired on the 1920s. Okay. So far it seems very well made, I have to be honest. Um, oh, yeah, up and down. Okay. Okay, we're going. We're going. I'm assuming standard controls. Oh, it does feel very late 90s, doesn't it? Where am I? Oh, it really does. What is this? They've I'm almost away. captured that Resident I need Evil to get out of style here. there. How do I control this, though? Oh, I can't use WASD. Oh, okay, I've got to use the arrow keys. Oh, wow. Okay, enter. I'm not sure what, what the controls are. Oh, backspace, okay. Hang on, let me have a look at the page, see if we can see what the controls are. I do prefer it if they tell me in the game what the controls are. No. Okay, well, let's press some buttons and see what happens. Oh, it's locked. Okay, so we have to find the key. I pressed the left control then, so maybe if we press the mouse, the left mouse button. That also works. No, it doesn't. Okay. Right, so the arrow keys. Controls are a bit peculiar, but... A small nightlight is a draw. Wow, it, do you know what? It genuinely has managed to capture Resident Evil style here. Like old Resident Evil. And a key. It's also a note. Okay. So, how do we aim the gun? Don't seem to be using the mouse. Um, okay, well, let's just. Press start to open your inventory. Well, I'm not using a controller, but I know it's enter, so... Oops. Item. Key. Yep. It's unlocked. Oh, gosh. Wow. I, 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 oh, I'm lost for words. Um, it, it really feels like Resident me. Evil. I. In, th in fact, I think it's kind of parried in Resident Evil. It does appear to be a parody. Oh, hang on. Weird. It. I actually really like this, I've got to be honest. This is quite interesting. Oh, bit glitchy there. <laughs> That's all right. It's one of those monsters. It looks dead though. They managed to capture. Wow. Okay. Can I go through here? I can. In all honesty, I really feel like that this is. I'm not quite sure how to run, to be honest. But this just feels like the dining room at this point, doesn't it? There was something coming at us then. They've done a really good job of, of replicating Resident Evil. Hey, you! Here. No! Don't shoot! I can help you! Who are you? What is this place? My name is Hope, and this is a dollhouse. Okay. The dollhouse? 
No. The voice really? acting's a bit what funny, but then again, here? so and was the original Resident Evil. Distress? Yes. Well. <laughs> don't help me with that. Okay. But if you can bring me some tooth wheels, like this one, I might yeah. be able to exchange them for some extra firepower. Okay. Hey, hey, don't bring me. So basically, it's just like the merchant from Resident Evil 4, but it's a that. hand puppet. Fine. Jeffy. Welcome! Okay, yeah, there we go. So I need 20. Not enough to me. Okay. So, backspace. There we go. Okay, I'll go through here. It's locked from the other side. So my only gripe with the game is it doesn't quite tell me what the controls are, but it, well, maybe it has. I'm just too dumb to uh, to realise. I'm genuinely impressed by this, guys. Because I, I kind of grew up in the 90s, and this is just everything I would remember it to be. Even the camera angles are just... Yeah, even that, that's really good. To be honest, I'm not sure how much more I can I can play this on, on video, because it I think it's one of them you can play it yourself. You really should play it yourself, guys. Cool. Okay. Um I am I am gonna carry on. Oh whoa. Oh, it's that again. I'm going to carry this on off uh, video, just because, can I skip? Okay, I can't, I can't skip. So this is another one of those I recommend, if you like the old school Resident Evils, you should probably play this. Just the Where first, I mean I've been on this, what, just under what is this? 10 what minutes I maybe? I need to get out and of And this here. is really good. I, I cannot describe just how much. This game feels like a Resident Evil game. I think I'm going to have to plug in a controller though. I might get my... Can I, I wonder if I can use my PS4 controller. If not, I'll just plug my Xbox one in. I'm sure I'll be able to. And see if it plays a bit easier on the hands with that. It is a little bit fiddly, like having to do this. Why can't it automatically just use the key? I do like this though, the little reference to Resident Evil, it's really good. Oh, um, excuse me, I... I... I also get the feeling the um the voice acting is intentionally terrible just to kind of mimic the whole Resident Evil. Yeah, I genuinely like this. I genuinely like this game. I wonder how far I can Yeah, I mean... What if we go down here? Yeah. Oh, there's something down there. I can see it running around. Okay, can I go through here? Yeah, I can't. The kitchen. I mean, just look at this. It's just capturing Resident Evil so well. Oh, hello. No, you leave me alone. Oh, okay. Uh. <laughs> can't come in, can they? How to reload? Oh, I've just mashed keys on the keyboard and it's reloaded. Oh! Oh, he's, he's managed to squeeze through the door. 
Okay, I am going to plug in the controller and try this off video. Guys, I really would recommend this. This is really good fun. It's really, really good fun. Yeah, cool. Okay, so that was um, at least The Awakening. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't, but let me know in the comments why you didn't like it. I, I always like to know these things. Um, yeah, that's been Elisa. I've been doing Vegas. Ooh. Guys, thank you so much for watching.